Hello and welcome to Berlinale Meets. My name is Anna Henkel Donnersmark. I'm the head and curator of Berlinale Shorts, which is the international short film competition of the Berlinale. Today I have the great pleasure and honor to introduce the international jury of Berlinale Shorts 2021 to you. You spent the last two days in the cinema watching films on the big screen and discussing films for a long time. I guess you got to know each other quite well. Maybe you want to not introduce yourself to us in the audience, but introduce each other to the audience. Who's who and what does who do when they're not watching films for Berlinale Shorts? Now, may I introduce uh, Basim Magdi? Basim Magdi is a visual artist and he is uh, born in Egypt and grew up in Egypt. He studied in Cairo, as far as you told me. And since 12 years, he lives in, in Basel. But I, I'm thinking you're uh, based in, 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 I mean, in a lot of uh, countries in the world, but mainly in Basel and in Egypt. He loves to travel and he's, and he's uh, somebody, I don't know. I mean, it's very interesting how you get to know somebody watching together films and discussing films. And the interesting thing was when we are coming from so different backgrounds, but in a way we had similar feelings or similar approaches uh, to the to, to films. And yeah, and, and Basim is uh, somebody who loves the material of film. I mean, how can I say literally he, he loves the mm -hmm. the consistency of film material. So he, he, he works a lot with Dear film, as with 35 millimeter original film, with 60 millimeter film, and you know, after meeting you, I'm, I, 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 I love to see your work. I want to visit your next exhibitions wherever it is. So that would be really nice. Yes, and uh, thanks. And he's a very um, thoughtful, profound, and very interesting person. So thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Christina. Um, Maybe I should uh, introduce uh, Sebastian. Um, Sebastian Ursendowski is uh, known as an actor, but I think what I find interesting is that I got to know him in a very completely different context, which is us sitting together and talking about films without knowing much about each other personally or our personal backgrounds. And um, I discovered that he is also a, quite a, a good photographer who's very <laughs> passionate about photography. He takes photographs all the time and they're really good <laughs> photographs. Um, you also uh, really enjoy humor in films, yep. which I also appreciate. And I think it's a very interesting quality in, in anyone that the appreciation of humor in life in, and in any kind of representation of, of life, uh, because I think it, it adds... Uh, a very interesting layer to anyone. Um, Christine is a camera woman, DP, the director of photography, and I've actually met you more than 20 years ago for the very first time. Uh, I was a young boy in my first feature film where I had the chance to play. And it was on a film festival and you uh, were there with Nordrand. And I think at that time uh, you made the move from Vienna to Berlin, so we're fellow Berliners now. Um, and I think something that I kind of doubted about you or thought you had, and which kind of proved true throughout these two days and what I've seen in Nordrand already that you have an extremely gentle uh, and empathetic look on things. And it's, uh, I think it, it, this is something that transpires in your work and also in the way you talk about films. And it is, it is a quality that I, that I very much like in filmmakers. And I think the selection or the, 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 the choice that we made in the end is very much driven by that empathetic and gentle look onto filmmaking and onto human beings. And um, it was a pleasure spending these two days with you because it was um, with the two of you, but um, now talking about you in particular, it was, uh, it, was, it was really a pleasure being around you. God, you make me cry. What a beautiful introduction. <laughs> so yes, you watch 20 films, 20 short films 
of the international competition of the Berlinale. Can you give us a little impression what to expect? The audience, of course, hasn't seen them yet. Um, what is, how would you describe the selection? It's a very wide range, which we, I think we all agreed we, we liked. I mean, you know, there were documentary films, or the short films or short form of documentaries, feature films, you know, and there were, how can I say, films which remember me more on, on a painting or, you know, it's a visual art. Um, it was a very, you know, it was sometimes it's very hard also to compare because it's like different languages, how to compare different languages towards each other, you know, how to say this is, I don't know, it was sometimes very hard to compare it because there's really so fantastic films in the sexual selection. Is there anything you want to add, Basim or Sebastian? Um, I, for me, it was, I was really pleasantly surprised by the diversity of the genres, but also of the themes, um, the subjects that the films were dealing with. Um, but I also really enjoyed the fact that the programs were not were coherent in terms of a, maybe a common theme that, that runs through uh, the films in each program. But there was still room for me to kind of see the variety of those films and to, they're not, they're not similar in a way. Uh, they, have, they have common points between them, but they're still uh, films by filmmaker who, filmmakers who approach short films in a very different way, but also could probably approach that subject we're talking about in a very different way. It was great to see this diversity in, in everything. It, it kind of makes me feel intelligent that I'm that I'm being treated as an intelligent person that I'm, I'm being left that space to kind of put the dots together and that's something I really enjoy it's a beautiful compliment to the films Sebastian is there anything you want to add no it's, uh, it's I think the, the two others basically said it but I, I was very happy about having such a such a range such a diverse range of films. Sometimes it makes it hard to decide on which film then gets an award, but as a spectator, as well as a jury member, um, it, it is very rewarding watching these um, very different films, but they, they all have in common that there is a, very, there is a great passion for filmmaking and um, they all have very strong voices of their own. So it's, um, it's, it's quite a treat getting to watch these films. And which ones do you think sort of stick with you or stuck out? Which ones would you carry with you? There's, there's a few of them. I, I think I'm going to go first with one that yeah, yeah. I, I think, talking of humour, I think there was one in particular that uh, I think had a great sense of humour. And that's um, Easter eggs on Good Friday. I think what struck me so much is how how well he treats characters and how 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 well he creates characters much more than some other filmmakers who are actually um, working with actors and who can rely on on facial expressions that they never wrote into a script. But he he does that from scratch. He's painting that or he's um, I don't know, he's animating that, but he, it's, it's written, it's, it's, it all comes from his mind and also the, the, the amount, the level of creativity and beauty. Um, there's a very poetic beauty to the way he, um, he portrays these two young boys. It's, it's basically a coming of age film, um, which then has a twist and it's, uh, it's very cleverly done and very true to the characters. I, I liked a lot of films. Uh, it was it was quite difficult to um, to say what's uh, if, if there's something is better than something. But I th there's one film that I I actually would like to highlight that I particularly enjoyed. Um, it's it's called Strange Object by uh, Miranda Pinnell, and I what I liked about it is that she took 
um, an archive of old aerial photographs um, that were shot in, in somewhere in Africa. I won't disclose where because I think that's, that's part of it, the mystery of where it is. It's also part of the film. I don't want to give that away. And she turned something that was, that was uh, almost, uh, you know, that, that could go almost un unnoticed. It's part of an archive. I, I wonder how many people have looked at it before. Not that many, probably. And she turned it into a way of looking at um, the complexity of, of, of what colonialism did uh, to, the, to the parts of the world that were colonized, but also to the complexity of, and also at the same time, the simplicity of how history is written and how much fiction goes into it and how it's written by those who have power and those who can write and those who can read and those who can who can actually uh, archive information and keep it and, and not have their villages and their towns and their cities destroyed by airplanes. And I think it was, it, she created a, a very powerful film that made me think a lot about, about things that I, um, I think about a lot, but I think it, it presented different points of view that maybe most people wouldn't think of. And I, I really appreciated that. And and the craft of the film is actually quite good. It's it's uh, as a film, it's it's a great film. Yeah. One of these wonderful films, because I like these two films also very much, was Sondermeer, um, uh, which describes uh, the summertime of her childhood or a moment. Uh, and I have the feeling that I that she describes something in the inner world of a child, which I think that I know, or I can smell it, I can um, read it, I can, I can, how can I say, uh, feel it. And she does it in a very, you know, she's, she's, she describes something what is always in between. And I like that she managed to do this uh, very complex, uh, at, to, 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 to create this complex atmosphere in, in very few shots actually i didn't count it but i think there are not more shots than maybe 12 or 14 and she opens uh how can i say like a, a big a carpet of a childhood you know you 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 can feel you can feel all these senses all these um, uh, um thoughts or all this uh what is what is going on without ever ever try to to how can I say it's very hard to say how to to be too concrete mm, so to hint like, at it uh, yeah you know I like this I liked also the craftsmanship uh, uh, behind it I like the cinematography it's uh, very intense it's time for the awards do you want to tell us who got the Eva nomination oh, okay well I think that uh, falls on to me um it's easter eggs um <laughs> <laughs> the film with the humor um, and um, basically I already kind of explained what we all thought was which, is, uh, which makes it so so good and why we chose this one to be nominated for the AFA it's um, the depth of the characters and the humor and the creativity in it uh, really struck us and um, gave it a very special position within these 20 films that we've watched and um, especially the, this poetical creativity that he has. On a personal level, I'm, I want to add that I'd love to see more animated films being treated as equals uh, in filmmaking because they're, they're not just cartoons. They're, they're, there's something, there's a world to discover and he shows that brilliantly. And now comes the music. We're gonna put some music here later on and some fireworks the silver bear the silver bear goes to day is done by jang delai i hope i'm saying his name right um it's uh it's an incredibly beautiful film um it's a film about uh, a very slow paced farewell between a grandfather and a grandson um, as the grandson is is um, leaving for, for Russia to go to film school. And it all takes place during a family visit uh, to the grandfather's house. And uh, it, it's just the, the acting, the, the, the way he, uh, he creates the, 
the relationships between them and he shows them the camera movement, um, it, it's all magical and it, it conveys so much emotion in, in, in the way they move their eyes and their gestures and their body language. And it, 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 it's extremely realistic, but also it made me feel so many things uh, without saying much. And that's something I really enjoyed. So we're very happy to um, award it the Silver Bear. And now we roll out the red carpet, <laughs> the Golden Bear. Yeah, the Golden Bear goes to Uncle Tudor from Olga Lukovnikova from uh, Moldavia. And I think this was a film um, which struck us all, which I mean, we, we saw it twice, we saw some films twice, and it's always interesting to see films twice and to see what, you know, how does it change or how, what perception you have. And this uh, film, I must say, it's a journey to, it's a very, how can it, a journey to the childhood place of the, of the director. I'm, I was very overwhelmed by this by this film and also by how it is done, how it is slowly revealing things and how you as a, as a, as a spectator, you are changing your view in every minute on this family and it's how she's portraying her family. It's also with, with her empathy, which is sometimes, you know, I, or I have the feeling there's so much empathy in it and on the other hand there's also something very you know it's a very um, cruel traumatic experience she she had i would like to add something i think for me the most one of the most uh, powerful things about the film was how she kind of opened up this um um this very complex process for her of going back to a childhood trauma. It, it, it unfolded gradually in the film. Um, I think it's an extremely brave film. Uh, it's cinematically uh, superb. It's done very well. Everything about it, the, the cinematography, the editing, the, the editing is very important because I'm sure she had a lot of, a lot of footage, a lot of uh, a lot of interviews that she did with her family and to edit a lot of that out of the film and keep things that that uh, maintain this progression of 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 how she unfolds everything and for me how difficult all of this must have been for her emotionally is something that i think is extremely admirable I think yeah. it's, it's this combination of personal courage and, and cinematographic craftsmanship and mastery that she brings to the table that is, uh, is what really makes for, for, for an extremely powerful film. Because it's not just somebody who's courageous and goes on a mission, but on top of that, she's a wonderful filmmaker who, who knows how to, to share this with other people as well. So she's not just doing it for herself. She's doing this and shows it and and takes us on this on this journey and the way she how subtly she unfolds everything and with with which pace she does it it's uh, it's admirable thank you so much that was very beautiful and thank you also for sharing your thoughts it's not it's not a given that the jury shares their thoughts and their insight and i think it's very beautiful to get to see the films through your eyes also. It's worth it. We, what we found is absolutely worth re-watching the films because yeah. they, the richer the films are, the more you will discover. And there's always a second, third, fourth layer. And all the films that we've picked, they're multi-layered. And it was, uh, it was we got to see more of the, their riches when we re-watched the films. And it was really a gift. It's, it's unfortunate there's always going to be just two awards, <laughs> but there were other films that I personally really appreciated. I know, uh, you know, uh, Christina and, and Sebastian also appreciated, but we had to make choices. 
I'm very happy for the films that won, but also very, very happy for the other films that are in the in the selection in the programs. So it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Thanks for all. Bye. It was really, really wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a great experience for all of us. I think. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Anna. See you in June, hopefully. Yes, in the cinema. Yeah. In the cinema, please. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao.